Hello, my beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium. I hope that everyone is doing amazing at this time. You guys have seen the title, so you guys already know why you're here. All right. There's a few things that I was getting for you guys as I sat down to press record. Um, one of the things that I'm getting is this love, this like powerful kind of love, okay? Um, coming into your reality at this time. Now, when I say at this time, it could be like, right right now like today they could show up be revealed tomorrow maybe yesterday they did i don't know but time is a little different you know in the 5d so i feel that it's like coming in now soon um in the right now we're you know it's mid-july 2023 although this is a timeless message i do feel that for a lot of you guys watching this you're going to be in a partnership like by the end of august by the end of summer meeting someone or coming into a union with a very powerful soulmate um over the next few weeks i feel that for some of you guys you go somewhere and boom, this person is there and you guys meet, okay? Or, you know, for some of you guys, this could be a past person. Another thing that I'm getting from this energy is that this is someone that they don't typically settle down. They don't, and maybe if they've been in relationships, I do feel that they're very mature, but love is not their main thing, you know? They rarely give their heart away in that regard, okay? So I do feel that in that regard, they're like you a lot. You guys are both like that where, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be discerning of who you allow in. And I feel this person is like that, okay? Um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, two Queens. Four of Pentacles. So we have your energy right away. And then the Queen of Cups. You guys have been pouring into yourselves. You've been pouring into your 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 work, your your flow, your your seeds, your you know, your pentacles. You've been pouring into yourself. You kind of just have been having this energy of, I'm good on my own. If it happens, it happens, you know? I'm manifesting a union, but I'm not attached to outcomes with any one person or, you know? I think that you guys just said, and so it is. It is done, It is. it is on its way to me. And you just like focus on pouring into yourself. And while you've been pouring into yourself, boom, this true love shows up. Four of Pentacles is um, holding on to things, holding back. And I think it's just you've been holding back from just interactions, people. I think you've just been holding on to self and you've been focused on, like I said, your, 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 your life, you know, and, and building your life and building your empire and, you know, all that. For some of you guys, this is someone that has a big old crush. <laughs> For some of you guys, it's love. I 
I don't know why, but I just feel that this is a this has been a struggle or this is a struggle for this person. It's a struggle for them to like open up or to to open that avenue of being vulnerable. They're just it's not what they are usually used to doing. Tell me more about this person for Aquarius. You guys are seeing through all the bullshit. <laughs> Queen of Swords, like you're full on in your energy and your power. Like you guys are seeing the truth in all matters. You're seeing through the illusion. You're really connected to your intuition and like your your feelings about things right now. How does this make me feel? How do what feeling do I get off of this? What does my intuition say about this person? There, yeah, there's nothing that gets past you, you know? It's you're very alert, very aware, very in tune, very connected. Okay, what else for this person? Tell us about this person for Aquarius. Nine of Wands, Justice. This is the end of a season for you, Aquarius. Okay, now this could be someone that was guarded, like I said, had walls up, like I said, that kind of energy. I've been hurt a lot or I don't trust love. You know what I do trust? Money. <laughs> you know what I do trust? Pentacles, you know, that's the vibe I'm getting here with this person. They could be a Libra or a fire sign. This is the great balancing right now in your life. You guys may, this is the end of the cycle for you, okay? Where you've been the wounded warrior, you know, you've been through hell and back. You've been, <laughs> you've just been, okay? We know you, you've been there, you've been here, you've, You've lived this, you've lived that, right? So it does feel like you're at the end of this cycle. You know, there's this release of burdens, just laying everything down, feeling freer. I do feel that. I feel that, you know, you guys have been loving on yourselves, right? But I think that for some of you guys, the more that you've been ascending and growing and rising up, like, you know, because it's just kind of a given. We go deeper into our, our healing journey and our work and like inner work and like all that. And I think that you guys have been going deeper into your inner work, right? And I feel this heaviness. So that's what I feel. I feel like the Nine of Wands is like showing the past life energy that you've been processing. You are the wounded warrior from this lifetime, but also from past life stuff. And for some reason, I just feel that the Ten of Wands, which is the next card after the Nine, the burdens that are being laid down, I feel is, yeah, it's things from this lifetime, but I feel it's like past life stuff. A lot of past life, like, connections, healing, regression, like that kind of stuff. And I'm getting the word alleviated, so I do feel this like alleviation of, of, of energy with you guys. So if you have been feeling like this Nine of Wands energy, it's now a time of alleviation. This energy is now being alleviated, okay? We have the Cancer New Moon, okay, happening right now, today, tonight. Okay, so happy new moon, my loves. New moon is about new beginnings. New phases starting up, okay? And with justice, I feel, um, Aquarius, that justice is yours, okay? For some of you guys, I think that someone wants to bring justice to a situation between the two of you guys, okay? And for the rest of you guys, this is, I'm getting a newcomer, <laughs> a newcomer. Someone coming into your life that 
is a partner that does bring partnership and marriage and 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 high you know high profile con you know commitment and stuff like that deep commitment this is a time of justice in your life you've really gone through a lot of your karma here all right You've been facing the darker parts of yourself, and now it's your time of receiving, okay? Six of Wands. Six of Wands is always a card of victory. It's a yes card. So whatever the message is being, you know, shared at the time, and the Six of Wands shows up, it's a yes. So, mm-hmm, yep. Right on the money here with this message. This also shows here that this is a time of victory for you, Aquarius. A time of victory, great reward, recognition, the universe is recognizing you. It's saying, good job. You've overcome so much. And, be, and, and you've been wielding your pain into your power, 11-11. You, you, weren't, you aren't letting it harden you and jade you. You, know, you aren't jaded over this. So now you're, you're, you're receiving good karma. Now things are balancing out in your life. You know, you balance the scales here. All right, so there's great victory and reward here for you, okay? Um, the Fool is showing up on the bottom of the deck right now. So this is something here coming towards you that is a victory. Again, it's a part of rewards and recognition. So tell me of the justice, the six of wands, in love for Aquarius. And it's the world card. I just pointed out the fool on the bottom of the deck a moment ago. The world and the nine of swords, another nine. So for some of you guys, this is someone closing out this They've learned big lessons. They're completing cycles here that have kept them in like a nine of swords energy. Okay. I'm getting closing out chapters, closing out chapters. So again, someone that needed to close out chapters, someone that needed to, you know, I, I don't know, walk away from, from things, their own, their own stuff. Whatever it is, it's big. This is also showing here that you guys... Some of you guys are closing out huge cycles as well. And it can feel like you're being stretched thin or pulled apart in pieces or, you know what I mean? It can make you feel like this. Okay, but it's always darkest before the dawn, Aquarius, right? So no matter, like if you have been feeling this, there's a message here of don't worry. There's a message here of your whole world is changing right now. Don't worry, okay? I'm also getting someone who's very much stressed out about approaching you. This is someone who's been watching you. This is someone who sees you somehow online, at work, through passing. Maybe you guys visit the same coffee shop every morning, you know? You go around the same time every morning, you kind of see the same faces. Everyone there gathering around the same time. Five of Pentacles. Where are we at? 14 minutes. So anyways, my loves, if this is your message so far, be sure to claim it, right? Um, like and subscribe, all the things. This is a powerful reading for you guys, though. I love that you guys immediately showed up as the Queen of Swords, like full on in your power. Yeah, full on in your power is right, Ace of Swords. I mean, Ace of uh, Wands. And you know what's so funny is we have the Nine of Wands here, Aquarius. And I said the Ten of Wands would be next, and it's like laying down the burdens and da 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 da, right? After the Ace of Wands right here, 
is the Ten of Wands. You have a lot of fire. Wands, 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 wands. For some of you guys, there's a heaviness that needs to be released and put down. I don't know what. It's going to be different for everyone. It's a collective message. So it would be just something that it could be around with the Four of Pentacles and, and seeing the Five of Pentacles a moment ago. It could be worry around money. It could be worry around finances. You know, maybe you had something come up and you're like, I don't know how on earth I'm going to pay this or how I'm going to, you know, and the universe is like, this is the stuff that we're helping you to heal and release is this lack mentality or this lack, you know, this worrisome energy. There's definitely something here where you guys are so close to like closing something out or, or where the universe goes, this is completed. You've done it. Congratulations. Um, I'm hearing you're on the verge. Okay. So I don't know what, and it's not going to be for everybody. So if it's not for you and you don't feel that part's for you, it's not for you. For some of you guys, you have passions in certain things and you want to start following those passions, pursuing them in one way or the next. You might be worried about failure or what other people might say or criticisms, things of that nature. And the message for that is release, <laughs> release that. Who cares? You know? We have to fail forward. You know, we don't know if we don't try. Okay, so I'm getting all that. That's for some of you guys out there for sure who need, who need to hear that as confirmation. Follow your passions. They're going to bring you great beginnings. Okay, but this is also about passionate new beginnings in your life. Okay, with the Ten of Wands, it shows that you are, you are releasing the burdens that need to go. And you're clearing up energetic space in your in your in your three reality in your life for these big blessings and new beginnings to come in. For some of you guys, there is someone that uh, they just have deep deep emotions, feelings for you, and you know, the energy here is that they haven't expressed it and it weighs heavily upon them. Ten of Wands. What they feel and their passions for you and everything is, a, it's, it's, it's heavy, it's burden. Burdensome. You have the Ten and the One here. This is definitely a passionate new beginning here from someone that maybe they just carry a lot around in life all right, maybe they're laying down the burdens of their own life and they lay eyes on you, they meet you, and they're just like, you know what, I'm ready for adventure. I'm ready to follow my 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 sacred path. I'm ready to have fun and to be in love. And you know, it does feel like that. This person or you, right, could be like, you know, hard workers, workaholics. Um, for some reason I'm getting Capricorn, so could be a Capricorn that you meet or that's coming in towards you. There's definitely passion on its way. You have the Ace of Wands, the closure of cycles, completion here, and new beginnings. You you might be traveling on an airplane soon. I do see that for, for some of you guys for sure. I see a it's a leisurely trip, like sightseeing, hiking, um, you know, just good food, like, you know, this is like a destination place. So maybe this is a vacation that you already have planned. You know, we are in the summer in the Northern Hemisphere, so it is like vacation season, right? But not everyone does that, you know, just because it's summer, not everyone takes vacations, right? So, but this is something where you're going to be doing this or, you know, for some reason I'm getting Greece, Athens, Athens, Greece, maybe you're Greek, maybe this person is Greek. Maybe you go on a vacation to Greece and you meet this love of your life. Okay, maybe you meet this person soon while traveling. All right, for some reason, for some of you guys, I'm getting a wedding. All right, I'm hearing the birth date January 21st. All right, so that is, a is that Aquarius? Or is that still Capricorn? I don't know. <laughs> 
either way, either way, um, it's, it's an, it's a date, it's a season, it's a time that's relevant to you guys. And I also, so it's funny cause I heard January 21st and now I'm hearing February 22nd. Okay. March 3rd. I don't know. Um, this for me is also like conversating with that eight of wands. It's like, you're going to be conversating with, with someone here, a lot of passionate conversations back and forth texting all the time, talking on the phone, video chats, FaceTiming. For some of you guys, I do feel that you're, you're both very successful in life. And I feel that logistically, it feels a little difficult to just pick up and, and move your life. You both kind of might feel this way for one reason or the next. But it is figured out. There is compromise here. Okay, so don't let that hang you up. Don't let that be like a, a, a hang up or a hiccup, you know? Okay. All right. What else? Outcome for Aquarius. It's the King of Swords. Right as we're wrapping up your message, look at, he comes out at the end. And the first card out was you. Look at that. The King and Queen of Swords unite. This is who's coming towards you. This is the outcome. I just asked for the outcome for you. And it's a king to the queen. A match. A perfect match. You are my perfect match. Someone could be in law enforcement. Be like, you know, work in law enforcement. Or for the legal system somehow. The judicial system. I have no idea, a lawyer, a judge, paralegal. Um, I'm just getting that, you know, especially with the king and queen of swords. Like they, and we have justice as well. And they rule the justice skills together, you know. They bring honor and, and, and truth and, and communication, honest, you know, communication. Um, you know, justice, energy, seeing both sides, balance and harmony, you know, all that good stuff, so. But it's funny because I said that you guys, I felt that you guys were very similar and like, you guys are both like discerning. You guys are both a little bit more like, you know, stand back when it comes to dating. Like, who are you? Uh, -uh I don't just talk to anybody. You know, it's like that. And that's exactly how these two are and would be <laughs> like, they're just no BS. Like they're very like, give it to me straight. What's the deal here? Who are you? What do you want with me? Da, 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 da. You know, it's like that. Okay. So it's just funny because it confirms what I said. So there is um, a, a very balanced partnership here. Passionate new beginning, new beginning, new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings, big new beginnings here, big new cycles starting up in your life. Okay. As far as the universe goes for a lot of you guys here with the world and the justice card for me, that means it means you've cleared the biggest karma. You've, 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 you've rebalanced the scales. Okay. It's like a clean slate, a fresh start with the universe. Okay. So, all right, let's get one more. Just one more. It's the four of wands. It's a very strong foundation. And then you have the seven of pentacles, bottom of the deck. It's a card of divine timing. You know, I do feel that. I feel like you're kind of just sitting here, like just doing you, living life, you know, tending to your garden, tending to your harvest, tending to your seeds, um, you know, planning and creating and just whatever, right? And then just out of nowhere, boom. And I do feel like that. I feel like it comes in a flash. Three of Wands. I should have freaking said it. I should have said it because with the Four of Wands, and for some reason in my mind's eye, I was seeing the Three of Wands. But the very next card on the bottom was the seven of pentacles. But right behind it, lo and behold, was that three of wands I was seeing and feeling. And this is for me in this deck. It's like someone who, it's like their ships arrive. And for me, it's like, again, like an energy of like, see how both of them are at their desk? Like, it just comes out of nowhere. They're not expecting it. They're both just kind of, hmm, you know, at their desk, like, They've been creating, they've been doing the work, they've been, you know. So anyway, so it comes in. Knight of Cups, a secret admirer with a very strong, strong 
offer, whatever <laughs> you want to call it, of love. Okay? This portal is now open for you. Okay? The timeline that we are now on here, Aquarius, means union for you. Okay? So, anyways, my loves, again, if this is your message, be sure to claim it as yours, right? Thank you for subscribing and for being here and for joining the channel and for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, if you do want to book a reading with me, you can find all of the info down below in the description box. Um, to book just like a regular psychic reading, past life reading, there's, there's several different options. Also right now, um, just for a limited time, probably uh, going to be just closing it out entirely, probably this, this coming week. Um, but my, my one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons, private one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons with me, um, tarot lessons or spiritual mentoring sessions. So they're the same price. Um, you know, but it's just, if you want to learn the tarot and become a reader and maybe start a business or run your own platform or a channel, um, this would be a perfect opportunity for you. Um, and you know, maybe you're just being called to spiritually learn, expand, mentor. I really focus... I do do like um, some reading throughout the sessions with you with cards and just stuff, messages, you know, um, I do some activations and some clearing work and energy stuff, whatever I'm feeling guided to do person to person, client to client, right? Um, but I help to activate things that are lying dormant within you and just open you up more, clear away blockages so that you may receive like et cetera, et cetera, right? So anyways, if this feels like something that you feel called to do, it's all down below in the description box, okay? I would be honored to work with any one of you guys. Um, when you email me, just give me, you know, a couple days to, to get back to you. You know, it could be sooner, right? But it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so Aquarius, your heart is open. You know, and that's been a struggle. That's been a struggle for you guys. Okay, you guys are the, the the water bearer, the humanitarians, the you know philanthropists, you know that kind of stuff. But like, you guys really struggle with relationships as far as like being open and like trusting people and like you know you can be the icy king or queen of swords, right? So this is letting you know here, like what's about to happen in your life and what's taking place. You can trust it. You need to trust it. Otherwise, it could end up being start, you know, two ships passing through the night when it was meant to be two people falling in love, right? So there's something with that. And then the children, for me, it's spirit babies. The spirit babies are coming through heavily at this time. They are really here for these union timelines that the collective is facing right so it's like they are here with this destined energy being guided into our lives it's really beautiful um so anyways and I just for me it's also confirming that it's the inner child the, the inner child feels good and safe and loved and you've been healing your inner child which is why things are aligning and why it is safe for you to love now because your inner child says so because you've been taking the steps and the healing and all the things of, of taking care of self and right to where your inner child is no longer scared or feeling abandoned or you know just forgotten it's like the inner child is now out and ready to, to have fun and it's a playful energy and a fresh energy and all that right so this is the kind of energy that's coming into your life so amazing job with with you know all of your spiritual work and everything that you've been doing the child also represents uh new beginnings Okay, like fresh starts, fresh energy, you know, new new energy in your life. So that's what I have for you, my loves. Okay, so I send you guys so much love and light. Thank you again. I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye, Aquarius.